Tens of thousands of parents and students took over the streets of Lower Manhattan today. They want to deliver a message to the mayor. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has more now on the massive rally. A sea of red in Foley Square. A message from parents and students to Mayor de Blasio that they are seeing red over the poor quality of New York City public schools. Many of the signs and the t-shirts worn by what sponsors said were 21,000 protesters bore the slogan, Don't Steal Possible. Don't prevent public school students from getting a good education. Ebony Burroughs' son is a learning disabled student at an East New York public school where 9 out of 10 fail math and reading. Here's what scares me. We know the reality for black men. If my son continues in a school that closes doors for him, I face the reality of him becoming a statistic. I face visiting my son in prison. Our school system is in crisis. There are over 200 schools where 90% of the students don't know math, reading, or even know how to write their names. The event organized by Families for Excellent Schools, which usually speaks for charter school parents. It recently did a study showing that 143,000 students are trapped in failing public schools. Parents hope to pressure Mayor de Blasio to close some failing public schools and allow charter schools to use their space. But Mayor de Blasio, not a fan of charters, offered this video today. We have a crisis when it comes to education. The answer is not to find an escape route that some can follow and others can't. The answer is to fix the entire system. Since Mayor de Blasio has responsibility for all 1.1 million students, the big question is whether he's ready to change his policies on charter schools. In Lower Manhattan, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. And critics are worried about the decision to take so many kids out of school today for the rally. New